loved reading about you before coming on the show because you grew up in Argentina and England. And is it true that you refused to learn English until you read Harry Potter? Because I love this story. Yeah, pretty much. I was convinced that if I didn't speak the language of the country I was moving to, my parents would have to take me home. That was like my my great wish was to go home. And uh, But I just became enamored with reading. There was this library in my school and... I just so desperately wanted to be able to access that world. And so my uncle taught me to read, reading Harry Potter. So those people were my first friends, really. Oh, that's so great. And that's a great way to say it, too. I loved escapism. My mom um, is the reason why I'm an avid reader to this day. And it's such a great thing for kids to escape into that and also learn different languages. That's an incredible. Um, you, you had a crush on another fictional character. Who was that? Peter Pan. It's still it's still ongoing. It's, like, it's still uh, going. I will never get back, and that's okay. I think. Do you like sleep with your window open, waiting for him to come? <laughs> I did when I was a kid. You're joking. That, I did. I did that for months. That's so dangerous. I was convinced he was coming. <laughs> that's like a walking Dateline special. <laughs> it's like you're like <laughs> you like want to get murdered. Um, I think that's cute though. You're such a dreamer. I love that about you. Who was your? Did you have a Zachary? Did you have a crush when you were a kid? Like a. Uh, I think my my first crush was Julia Roberts in in Pretty Woman uh -huh. until I saw Thelma and Louise, and then I and then I was like, who's this Brad Pitt person? <laughs> uh, uh, and then I you know. I think I'm figuring something out here. Uh, you know what? I think Brad Pitt did that to I all of us. I feel you so hard. 